Hi everyone and happy new year. This is my first day, uh, first day back in the new year. So I'm back. Thanks everyone for filling up 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Two box Ram team break number nine. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. Happy new year to everybody on this list. And anyone who's watching, appreciate you. Should be a good year. There's all the 30 teams right here. No combos. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Five and a five, ten the hard way. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Got Chris down to David. And then five and five, ten times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time after ten. We got the Bluebirds down to the Metropolitans. Here's how it shakes out for everybody. Chris with the Blue Jays, David with the Dodgers, Chris with the Pirates, David with the Royals. Julian with the Diamondbacks, Rennie with the Padres, Harry with the Red Sox, Rennie with the Cardinals. Harry with the Guardians, David with the Nationals, Jim with the Angels, Christian with the Phillies, Rennie with the Braves, Shane with the Brewers, David with the Twins. Jim with the Rangers, Harry with the Rockies, Jim with the White Sox, Zach with the Reds and Mariners, Bradley with the Orioles, Harry with the Tigers, Chris Last Bob Mojo, Cubs, David with the Marlins, Kevin with the Yankees, Allen with the Rays, David with the A's, Ken with the Astros, Shane with the Giants, and Dave with the New York Mets. So let's alphabetize by team, and we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. And just remember, keep in mind, 2023 Bowman Draft, uh, five autos a box. Paul Skeens, Max Clark, among others, are some of the top players to chase. Last two boxes of that case as well. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. There it is here on a s Sunday, Sunday the 7th, my first day back in the new year after my winter break. Oh, Rennie, I am extremely excited about Yamamoto and Otani. Yeah, it's, it's mixed feelings. I, I think obviously very giddy because, you know, we finally landed these two big fish. I think Dodgers have been a little quiet in, in the last year or so. You know, but now comes the uh, the trepidation of well, will they perform? Will they stay healthy? It's a lot of money. You know, the, there's, now there's a lot of pressure. You know, on on the Dodgers to you know a lot of pressure on the Dodgers to succeed in the playoffs. You know, that's that's been that's been uh, what has always hurt them in the past. Um. So we'll see. We'll see if it all if it if it all pieces together, you know, in the way that. But um, I'll tell you what. Here's 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 my level of excitement. And I think uh, you know, the Dodgers spring training was in Vero Beach in Florida for the longest time back. So still, there was an old connection from the old their old Brooklyn days. Uh, it's been probably over a decade since they've moved from Vero Beach to. Um, to uh, to Phoenix, they moved their operate their spring training operations there. Now, in all that time, I've always been I've always been like, oh yeah, you know, like, and I've got friends out there too. I was like, oh yeah, we'll de I'll definitely go out there, and you know, we'll catch a spring training game, and blah blah blah. blah. But you know, at the end of the day, it never it has never happened. But this year. I'm like looking at schedules, I'm booking, I'm trying to book flights or getting vacay days set up and all that to, to go to a spring train. I don't even know if Otani or Yamamoto are even going to be, you know, at a Dodger spring training game when I'm there. Who knows, right? But like the fact that I'm making these plans and they're, and it's, and I'm actually like pricing things out and everything like, like that's. That's the uh, that's sort of the energy that I have. So yeah, it has been pretty exciting. 
And I think, that, I mean, would love to see the Dodgers add another starting pitcher or something like that, but, you know, maybe they'll have to trade. I don't, I don't I think they're kind of done with major free agent moves. But they do, do, they do have a deep farm system and a lot of prospects that are, should be coming up that they don't have, they don't have room for. So they're going to have to, something's going to have to happen. So we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> yes, thanks for being giddy for me. The Phillies st still... At least still have a good team, though. But, yeah, I think the Dodgers have pursued Otani since he was in high school. I mean, Yamamoto, once Otani was signed, and then, you know, you, things about Yamamoto growing up a Dodgers fan, blah, 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 blah. So, but, I mean, obviously him and his representation had, had to do, you know, their due diligence. Here's our first auto, K. Denton for Colorado. That'll be for Harry. There you go, Harry. Happy New Year. I love a good Mike McDaniel interview. Got Sunday Night Football in the background. So... Games aren't aren't played on paper, so now we'll have to see if. And I'm sure the Dodgers will be fine in the regular season. Really, it's just I think a lot of fans are going to be like, "Well, let's flash forward to the playoffs and then let's see what this team can do." Well, it's Alfredo Duno speckle parallel, not numbered. Um. I feel like since those big signings, though, those pre-Christmas, pre-New Year's Eve signings, there really hasn't been much going on. Oh, I guess the Dodgers just signed a... Is this today? Yeah, the Dodgers have agreed to a one-year, $23.5 million deal with Teoscar Hernandez. Only $15 million of that salary will be paid to Hernandez as the rest is deferred and will be paid out in installments, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they do need a right-handed bat, but now, now, now they got him. But uh, Mets signed Sean Mania for a couple years. Mets sign Harrison Bader. Yeah, I like that pickup too. They do need that right-handed bat. They do need to balance out that lineup a little bit. I think I still think a trade is is in the works to add another because Walker Buehler's coming off of injury. Who knows what's going to happen with him? You're not going to see Gonsolin or Dustin May until the middle of the year. And without a proper spring training, who knows what their availability is going to be. Kershaw's coming off a of shoulder surgery. He might not even be back with the Dodgers. But he's not coming back until the middle of the season. I can, I can see the attempt for uh, the Dodgers. Here's 22 out of 99, Brock Vradenberg. That would be for David in Miami. I can see the Dodgers still pursuing... You know, maybe a Corbin Burns, Willie Demis situation. Maybe Gavin Lux and some prospects go back the other way. I can see Dylan C still being a possibility. Really, the Dodgers kind of didn't need Otani, but because um, their hitting was fine last year, it was the pitching that was lacking. But I think, unless I missed it. I don't think Cody Bellinger has not been signed yet, right? Yeah, Dodgers, the mo the modern day Yankee. I I'll take it. That's how that's how this that's how this ownership, that's how this team should be uh, should be spending like the late '90s, early 2000s Yankees. There's a lot of a lot of lean years. For the Dodgers, I think after the O'Malley family sold the Dodgers, here's a uh, the uh, Rosan, I think Zanatello. I like these uh, these glass parallels here, but 
After the O'Malley family sold the Dodgers, as Marcelo Mayer blew to 150, I think it was Fox. Remember Fox owned the Dodgers for a while? That was a nightmare. Sup, Nicks? Happy New Year. Um, and then after that was another bad owner in Frank McCourt, and he nearly bankrupt the entire franchise. So it wasn't until this current ownership where they really... Um, Nazan. That looks like an R, doesn't it? Anyway. Here's Felin, Felnin Celestin to 199. Nice one for the Mariners. That's going to be for Zach. So I feel like that, that's where that were many lost decades there. You know, it's probably 20 lost years right there for those owners. So I'm glad that that the Dodgers are spending in that way. Let's see if it works. There's Kent Alderman. Miami Marlins, another Miami autograph for David. That's right, Montgomery and Snell still out there. I'm not sold on Blake Snell, not as a long-term contract. I think that's what he's looking for, though. I think Bellinger's looking for a long deal as well. I don't know if he's going to get that. Jacob Wilson, Matt Shaw, some of the other key players from this set. We'll see how these guys pan out. Colt Emerson. Oh, I guess this is not his Bowman first, Celestins, but here's Colt Emerson. He's another guy to look out for for Seattle. What's Seattle do? I feel like they're trading away, guys. I think they traded away um, Robbie Ray, I want to say, to the Giants, which I don't think is good. It's really a huge deal, but they did get Mitch Hanniger back. They do need some offense, but I don't, I don't think it's—I don't think Mitch Hanniger is going to be enough. Got this, these lunar parallels. These ones in that color are not numbered. We should be looking for two more autographs out of here. Max Clark's supposed to be a big name that's going to be out there. And there's Tayshawn Walton, 386 out of 499. That's going to be for Christian and the Phillies. Michael Brantley's retiring. Yank Yankees interested in Dylan Cease. Oh, that's right. Braves and Chris Sale agree to a two-year deal. Let's see, maybe a, a Chris Sale reclamation project. It's perfect for the Braves, right? They've got a lot of pitching depth, I feel like. So if he works, that's awesome. If not, I don't think it's a, it's a huge deal. So Red Sox ended up with Giolito. Did the Padres have another Korean player signed here? This is a Korean player? Yeah, Wu Suk Go. Relief pitcher. Anything? I mean, anything? Anything else really going on? Yankees are interested in Blake Snell. Nothing really too too crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Looking at MLB trade rumors, top whatever, free agent. So Tani was signed. Yeah, Bellinger is their top two. Yo Yamamoto is signed. Yeah, Bellinger, Snell still out there. Nola signed early. Yeah, Jordan Montgomery is still out there. Is Matt Chapman still? I think Matt Chapman still out there. Josh Hader is still out there. Sonny Gray signed. Uh, that other Japanese pitcher, uh, Imanaga, I think hasn't signed or has a deadline passed for that. You know, I think uh, Rod Eduardo Rodriguez signed, Teoscar just signed, uh, Candelario, no, he signed with the Reds. But yeah, there's, there's still some names out there.
Oh, and here's our next autograph right up top. That's Brandon Winokur. That will be for the Twins. That's going to go to David. Oh, we'll see what happens. There's still some still some names out there, and still trades to be. That that's harder to predict, obviously. Anyone could be working on trades, but I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of crazy that. It won't be too long before pitchers and catchers start to report, and then spring training action happens, and then spring training games will start to happen, and we'll be back with another baseball season before you know it. There's Ethan O'Donnell, Lunar. That's 121 to 125. One of my favorite new parallels. Luis Almayeda, 441 out of 499 for the Orioles. Bradley with Baltimore. Uh, everyone know those? Some of you may have ever heard in the background. Um, that Wendy's commercial with that cast of people inside that Wendy's. They've been running those commercials for a little while now with the same, seemingly the same cast. <laughs> What are the odds that that, that can turn into a sitcom? Here's Ty Floyd. Three sixteen out of four ninety See what we're going to finish off with. There's Paul Skeens. There's a Chase Davis Glass and Jacob Cravey. 187 out of 199. Baltimore. Bradley and Baltimore. Chase Davis will go to the Cardinals. That'll be for Rennie. And all these Paul Skeenses will be going to Chris. Here are our first five. I'll do a quick little recap after this. That was box one of, of two. Here's our second box. I did not see any more cases of Super Jumbo in the back, so these are the last two boxes of that case that I'm sure Jason or someone must have been doing. Of course, baseball still still in still in hot stove land, but NFL is king for the day. And Miami is up by seven on Buffalo. I have some financial interest in Buffalo minus two and a half. I'm not sure. I mean, that could still happen, actually. It's only eight minutes left in the third. There were a couple costly end zone turnovers by Josh Allen. That was not good. It definitely is affecting my investment. Dolphins have traditionally struggled this season against good teams. But they are looking good tonight. As an Eagles fan, it's basketball and baseball season. What what is going on with the Eagles, Randy? We we've got a couple Eagles fans, you know, you know that Jason's an Eagles fan. Nick Jaspi, Eagles fan, his pops an Eagles fan, you know, so my, my cousin Dan's a big Eagles fan. I was asking, but he was, he was definitely, we watched the Eagles game together over Christmas, which I think was a win, but I think he was still unhappy. Maybe it wasn't, I don't know. He's, no one's happy. I'm not entirely sure. Injured? Like the key play, maybe defense. 
But the offense hasn't looked good either, even even with all their with all their pieces. They're just not good. Hertz isn't good enough. Sirianni might be a clown. Jeff Lurie has to be questioning everybody right now. They're not. Sirianni isn't in danger of being fired, though, is he? I feel like Eagles front office is is a pretty smart and patient front office. I mean, football is just hard. You know, I mean, like the the parity in the league kind of creates situations like this. Here's Hunter Haas to four ninety nine. That's for the raise that'll be for Allen. And there's our first autograph in the second box. That's Sabine Ceballos. That'll be for the Bravos. That's going to go to Rennie. Yeah, I guess everyone's on the uh, everyone's kind of on a warm seat. I wouldn't say it's hot, right? But it's just like it's like listen, we believe in you, but we can't do this again. <laughs> I mean, I guess the sign to look for is that has Sirianni lost the locker room, or is everyone on the same page? Sometimes there's that as well. And here is, here's Carlson Reed, Lunar. Belichick's fired, what do you, who do you think could pick him up? Randy wouldn't mind a Belichick. I don't know if he'll be, I don't know if they'll call it a firing though. I can't imagine they would, right? That's, that's a little disrespectful to, to that. I think they'll, I think they'll just be like, you know, we've mutually agreed to, to part ways and we'll do all that sort of stuff. Yeah, let's see if we can find some more rays for Allen. A lot of, a lot of people here in LA think the Chargers are a candidate for Belichick, but does Belichick look like he's gonna? I mean, I guess the weather is nice, but he, do you think he he looks like a fit in LA with the Chargers? And that ownership, I feel like if I'm if I'm Belichick and I still and if I still want to coach, he's also one of the older coaches in the league. But if I'm Belichick and if I still want to coach, I don't know if I. I mean, sure, Justin Herbert's nice, but a lot of other issues on that team. Is that where is that where I want to go? I suppose money will dictate a lot of things. Here's Ty Pete for the Mariners. That'll be for Zach. People are making connecting dots with us oh, since Brady's minority, you know, a minority owner of the Raiders. Is he going to go to Vegas? But I don't think that's I don't think that's going to happen. Tampa Bay. I feel like I actually don't know off the top of my head who the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coach is. But I, th I think they got him to the playoffs. I think he, he probably gets another year or two because of that. Yeah, that's what I've heard too, that Harbaugh is being linked to the Chargers, possibly the Bears. But what... I actually haven't looked up what those sources are. Like, Is it sources close to Harbaugh or is it just people speculating because there's coaching vacancies? There and maybe some loose connections from from Harbaugh to those teams. Here's Cam Collier to one ninety nine, Lunar. That's gonna be for Zach. And the Reds. 
Reds have a good crop of youngsters coming up the ranks. Cam Collier's gonna be nothing, the next one of those guys. And there's a, uh, a Tayshawn Walton speckle autograph. Another one of those for the Phillies. That's going to be for Christian. Saw one in the first box. That's 14 out of 71. Nice low number there. So we're looking for two more autos. a couple long shot player prop investments. I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm going to get those. They're intentionally difficult. But I got Josh Allen and Latavius Murray touchdown each. Parlayed that together. And then I've got a CJ Wilson, CJ Wilson Jr. and Tua. So quarterback rushing touchdowns and then Latavius Murray Wilson Jr. touchdown. I don't think either of those, I don't think any of those guys have or touchdowns, yeah, there's only, only three touchdowns today. Um, yeah, no. Is Latavius Murray even playing today? Maybe not. I feel like he vultures a touchdown here and there at the goal line. There's Dylan Campbell, four out of 99. Green parallel for the Dodgers, David. They're, uh, they're late. Oh, no, I guess it's the other guy I'm looking, thinking about. There's Campbell. Nelson Rada, 6 out of 99. Green paper for the Angels. That'll be for Jim. Still two more autos to go. Here's our last stack of the break. There's Paul Skeens. What does everyone think? Is Paul Skeens your number one overall pick, right? Here's Christian Nabzik, first of all, for Harry and the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Now, I think for the, for the most part, most of you baseball collectors know that the pitchers don't sell nearly as well as their hitting counterparts on the secondary market. But I wonder if Paul Skeens will be a different kind of cat. There's a Connolly Early, 248 out of 250. Not late, not on time, but early. Boston, Harry. Oh, yeah, one more autograph in here somewhere. And there it is, Tommy Troy, Diamondbacks for Julian. Julian with the snakes. 
Well, it looks like that's that for the autos, unless we get a bonus auto in here somewhere. Now, now maybe we're thinking about low numbered parallels. That one with Tommy Troy was to 499. There's Wyatt Langford for Texas. That's gonna all of those are gonna go to Jim. Will we see maybe like a, a, lo a low number would be really cool. A train whistle card, low number parallel. Jacob Wilson for the A's, those will go to David. All the Matt Shaws will go to Chris. Colt Emerson's will be for Zach and the Mariners. Looks like there's, some, there's a glass down there. Max Clark for the Tigers, all those are going to Harry. Big third and 13 for the Bills. Josh Allen's gonna get sacked. And fumble? Wow. Christian Wilkins going for the, just takes the ball out of Josh Allen's hands. And it's Dylan Head. Padres, that'll be for Rennie. Love these glass parallels. And the final parallel is Lazaro Montes. Aqua Wave 110 out of 125 will be for Zach and the Mariners. There you have it, boys and girls. Thank you very much for watching, for breaking with us, and for joining the action on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's a quick little recap. Happy New Year to everybody. My first day back in the new year. Good to be back. Thanks for putting me to work. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.